so welcome back guys i have opened up my virtual box which is linux i have my mongodb installed over here we're first going to tackle a jdbc connectivity for mongodb client so go to google or the link mentioned in the description download the .jar file which is mongodb java drivers .jar, something like that it uh, will be in the description the link will be in the description just go there and download it and put it in something yes now let's move on to our main thing now you go to new you go to java project you create a J java project let's just call it jdbc right jd so first things first is you have to connect the jar file to your jdbc project so your class part yes so we have to connect it to there. So JDBC Mongo uh, Sure, don't create yes, okay, okay. JDBC Mongo in SRC in SRC I'll create a new class which is going to be JDBC JDBC and there you go. I'll select this because I'm lazy and there you have it, our uh, uh, file that we're going to use. Now comes the real thing. Now we have to go to our documents. So we'll go to the files. Uh, we have a bunch of files over here. So it downloads. So you'll have some VLS named or jar. I have renamed it to mongo.jar just for, I don't know why, but I did it. And now we'll go to home, we'll go to Eclipse workspace, there will be uh, JDBC Mongo, right? And here just create a new folder called lib. And just like we did for the JSONs and paste the jar file over here. Close this. So we do not need this anymore. Now we'll just refresh and you should have a lib. Now you'll go here and go to build path. Uh, configure build path just like we did before easy it's, uh, really really easy so I'll go add jars I'll go here I'll click lib I'll add the jar I'll apply I'll apply and close and therefore we have imported it now to import com dot mongodb and you click enter and it's automatically imported there are a lot of functions that we are going to use that's why i didn't write uh, so first of all we need to create a connection right create a connection i'll name the thing so first we need to create a connection to our mongodb for that the basic thing basic logic which comes to mind is opening and starting our mongodb so we'll go to terminal We'll go to start, type in the password, and it started. Now, Mongo, it started. Now, there you go. Now, you want to create a connection. How do you create a connection? So, you write Mongo client. Okay. So, you write Mongo maybe, right? Is it equal to? Mongo client is equal to so this is like basic you have to remember it new mongo client right new mongo client now what do you enter in it so localhost because we're doing it on the same machine so localhost and the port number uh, which you want to give is 27017 uh, right uh, I'll give it in the description why do we use 27017 if I find something on the internet, but I don't know. Mostly people say use 27017, I think so. Now you want to, you have created a connection to the mobile client. Now create a database, right? Right. So you'll call dbdb is equal to mongo dot get db right and we can just put anything any db name let's say we want to use um, jdbc mongo uh, this is our database name mongo jdbc mongo 
right? The division of this. So yes. So get db is deprecated. Yes. The new ones, I do not know why. Uh, why is it deprecated? Don't ask me. So you again go here, and this time mm, you're making a collection, right? So let's uh, create a collection. To create a collection, we'll be creating db collection call is equal to db dot get collection and then collection. If you have a collection already, you would like to uh, mention that name. But if you don't have a connection per se, then you just write some new name. So uh, let's call it trial one. Uh, JDBC one. Let's call it JDBC one. That is better. So JDBC one, right? So we'll be using it. Uh, so our collection is JDBC one. Now uh, we want to insert a document. Insert a document, also easily known as record. So we'll be creating a basic uh, sorry basic db object right <laughs> and d1 is d1 is equal to new just basic db object object right new basic db object and then you just mention what is your thing so you let's say you want role and it's one right and then then so the first field is in a constructor now you write append and then you get the next fields so name let's say his name is round right and a dot append again and his age is 18 years old right and there you go so basic db object now the spelling is kind of really really fancy that i have mentioned <laughs> so we'll just copy this whole thing actually because it's like written, why should I write it again? So control C, control V it, and we'll have to change the, let's say change the age, uh, Ram, Shyam, and then roll number two, right? And uh, D2, right? Now, we have created two database objects now how to insert a document so create a create so yeah insert a document let's call it and this is like create a object db object right insert in collection so our collection name is called so call dot insert and then documents it says so d1 can i put d2 d1 d2 can i just do that maybe i do not know so let's say that uh, so usually you do d1 and then call dot in insert d2 right uh, so call dot insert d1 and call dot insert d2 so we have inserted into the collection over here as you can see we have inserted in the collection now what do we want to do is we want to display the document so this Display document, display doc. So what do you do is 
you make a cursor um, db cursor uh, cursor cursor is equal to new uh, oh wait db cursor cursor is equal to call dot find and that's it now while cursor dot cursor dot has next right uh, system dot out dot print print line um, cursor dot next yes Yes. Mm, we'll save it we'll run it so it has see open the connection to localhost and it's like some something is going on here here etc etc this is the two things that are inserted it has given us the object id and this is this so let's see if it is actually inserted so you know use uh, JD DC Mongo and DB dot JD DC one dot find and there are the two things that are inserted you can see there is Ram and Sham let's now make an update so for update uh, what i would like to do is get a new class right uh, which will be update uh, uh, up oops update update shady pc Finish with this. Finish. So we we'll have that. Uh, we'll import something. So import com dot mongodb. Yes. So we have uh, this. Yes. So we have already an open connection and so I, I do not know if we want to um, get collection. So these three things we'll just copy and paste over here. Um, yes, uh, now I want to update. Right? It's a little bit weird too this indentation was a little bit weird so i'm just indenting it properly yes, there you go so you know mm. sure, 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 sure. I'll, I'll see if it runs uh the thing copy and paste and it should run pretty well it should run and it does so that is correct now this is running so we do not want to know this so this is um yes so this is your thing now we want to update it right right now what do we want we want a basic db object we want a basic db object so okay let's yeah, basic db object um right so our query so let's call it old doc old doc is equal to new basic db object 
name and then it was Ram and it's not Sham, it's let's say Sham, right? Mm, Sham, right? Mm -hmm. And we create another uh, control C, control V, control V. C, control V, and it's Sham, not Sham, right? This is new doc, new doc, right? So then there is another one. Yes, this is your update doc. So it's you have to write dollar set and dollar set new doc new doc and call dot update query is basically old doc right and this is update now if we just go in here and just copy this whole thing control c and control v right and just go in here delete 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 delete, delete. Yes. So if this is the thing, now it should uh, give me. Okay. So let us place this one. Control C over here, right? So yeah, something like that. Uh, display doc before update display doc before update right and uh, stem dot out dot print len print len the updated doc the updated dog looks like yes and display dog before update display dog after update we do not want this line already initialized yes so this is supposed to give me an updated doc this is how you write it you create an object like like we when we do um, in SQL so we do update table set some value so set this value right set this value where old doc so where old doc and update doc is you create an object which is set command ke saath and you make it hmm. set it to this so, so something it's a little bit um, bigger but that is how you do it hmm. i'll run this and hopefully it runs and there you go um mm, okay it didn't execute technically okay oh wait 
it doesn't have anything because the cursor is already at the bottom. Wait, so cursor one, cursor one, cursor one. It's already now updated and that is like a big problem. Huh. Let's make JDB in JDBC2. Let's have this whole things. Let's go JDBC2. Right? And everything else is pretty good. Right? Looks pretty good. Yes. Now save this. Save this. Uh, I want to just run this one. So to created. Right? Yes. And then this guy I would like start this so s just see it was sham it's now sham and you can verify this on your terminal as well so let's say jdbc okay this is jdbc1 jdbc2 dot fine is the same thing so you see we have uh, updated so we have added deleted uh, sorry added displayed updated now we just gotta delete some things right create a new again a new class maybe jdbc mm, delete uh, yes okay jdbc delete right Yes, so get this thing, get these two, get these things, copy, uh, oh wait, so I can do this, so create a connection, yes, 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 I can get all this, mm -hmm. and I can do that, yeah, really, right. Yeah. To indent it all the time. Hmm. So this is the thing, right? Uh so doc before delete, I will call it delete. So let's delete sham right and let's make a query so db sorry what was it basic right basic db object basic db object d to d3 that's d is equal to new basic db object basic db object and two things so name and sham gonna delete that right so there is this basic db object so what, what happened uh, what okay cannot basic db object could not be resolved to a type what okay yes okay no no sorry object object right 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 so basically we object the New basic DB object and this, right? Right. Now, now if we just we just do call dot remove and we just put D. Call dot remove D and let's see. Copy this as well. 
copy and Oof. yes there you go um, to delete yes okay update the docs inside to delete before delete there we go call the fine yeah okay 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 now i should delete it and it just so sham is deleted from here if you want to if you want to look at it on we want to confirm it let's say so jdbc2 dot fine and we only find ram because sham is deleted so we have successfully done for things which were mentioned add display update and delete on the jdbc uh, that is it